Hi, today I'm going to be using the Decor Rome alcohol ink and I'm going to recycle this glass jar to make it into a vase. Now this is alcohol ink is a fairly new thing to me. I've just been using it the last couple of days. So this is a video that I took when I was doing my first glass jar. I'm not using any alcohol blender etc here. I'm just splash, splashing and dropping on alcohol ink. I'm choosing mostly purples and I'm using green to contrast with it. So most of this video is sped up and then I've edited a few bits out. The jar took me about half an hour to make. And this video's are roughly about 10 minutes long. So it's, it's quite a relaxing process. And the ink goes where it wants to, basically. You can control it slightly by manoeuvring the jar about and allowing the colours to run into each other. So you'll see it at times the, the colours blend with each other. And at other times, they, when two colours meet, they can form a hard ridge of colour. Now, alcohol inks, when you add alcohol inks to already dry alcohol inks, it reactivates them and the colour starts to move again. So if you find you've got a hard ridge, then what you can do is you can use a lighter colour and that will displace that, that hard ridge. As you'll see at one point, I, I put green on and there's just too much of it. So I've been using the yellow to lighten the green ridges. So here I'm just putting on the different purples and just letting them run randomly. And then if I don't want the, the purple to go any further down the jar, I just flip it around so the jar's upside down to stop that flow. So I was quite happy with it most of the time. It was just the odd bit that I wasn't happy with. So as I said, I went and used the the yellow ink to, to disperse the hard lines. Now, at times it, it kind of looks like a petrol effect and also the pattern reminds me of Clarence Cliff who is a, a famous artist who, who does ceramics and glass paintings and they would do fields with pathways and forests and little houses. So the pattern that's appearing on the jar it kind of reminds me of that. So as you can see, I've put some more colours around it now. The little clear gaps don't matter that much because the other colours come through the other side. But what I'm going to do is where I'm going to take yellow and see if I can get an effect here. Let's see what happens. Yeah, you get kind of like a tide effect. I'll put a couple more bits. So where? This is quite dark, dark in this section here, so I'm going to see if I can get a little circle happening. It's definitely, it's definitely different working on circular glass. Here, be careful where it's going to go. I'm just 
I'm not getting the well, not some steak, but we'll just go with it. That's a bit of yellow here to lighten it. So when you add the lighter colour with the darker, you get circles. Just let that spread. It lightens up the darker areas. That is not easy to control that. It's not that it's like you just have to let go of control. And while you can direct it a little bit, it's making a lighter green there. That's interesting. I've made a circle and I put some there and it's coming down. It doesn't immediately remove the circle. So I'm just adding some drops of yellow here and there. That's a lighter colour we're getting. A bit, a bit more colour variation here. Shroom drain away. Like that. Look at this purple. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but I can see it's like a sheen in some places. It's almost like a petrol effect. It's quite nice. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's nice. Quite Can we can see the pink there. See that developing. I'm gonna hold that there. I don't want to move what's in control. It's that one. I just want to let it flow. Spin it round every bit. Right. This is an area for one colour. Let's see if we can get. Variation going there. Now you can see it. Yeah, that's kind of like a petrol effect. I think it's fairly covered now. Yeah, 
turn that and make a nice buzz this spring. Well, thank you for watching. It was fun, but very messy. <laughs> and here's some photographs of how it's, the jar looks. If you like this video, please like and subscribe for more crafting videos. I always like to experiment. Thank you.